So as we move up to the start, we have this year's first race of the Hamlet Challenge Cup Women's Pairs event. And we have some class and calibre in this particular race here. We really do. Grace Prendergast, Kerry Growler, the very established pair from New Zealand on the right hand side of your picture. They were probably the closest crew to pushing the British pair at a certain point in time on the run up to the Rio Olympics. This pair gave Stanning and Glover a bit of a run for their money. And they're now performing very well back in the pair on the run up to this year's World Championships in Linz, Austria. They'll be looking to perform well here at Henley. It would have been great to see these girls race our girls when these were that, that kind of year older because that's when they went and broke their world record. Um, that would have been a great humdinger to see them side by side. But unfortunately, some we're never going to get to see. And they're going to go on to put their own stamp on this women's pairs event this season on the international circuit. They are such an impressive combination. They've been together since under 23s. I think they set an under 23 world record as well. Uh, just really, really classy, but a huge. Um, we must give a, a huge mention to O'Connor and Long in the pair in this Hamilton Pairs Challenge Cup race. Just a great shot there, watching the best pair in the world. And that would have been really exciting for O'Connor and Long to see that on the start list when you qualify for Henley to be up against the, who I would argue to be the best in the world. And right that's now. what you always want, is that when you're in a sport, you want to, you always dream of having a chance to have a shot at the biggest, you know, um, icons in your particular sport or boat class, whatever it is, and just see how fast they are. You know, at that moment, it would have been the first section of the race. They would have gone out to see, you know, how long they could have stuck with them. It's, it's kind of that exciting thing you never get to do. And at Henley, what a great place to have that opportunity. Hugely unique to Henley. I can't think of any other regatta in the world that allows you to go up against the best, like Prendergast and Gowler. And, and they'll come off the water and they'll go and shake hands. And, you know, O'Connor and Long will get to have had that experience with them. It is just And that's wonderful. the great thing about the boat tents area, when the athletes come into that area and that environment, you know, if you are at stewards and you have the tickets to allow you to go into there, it is so unique because you get to roam around with athletes from juniors, uh, club level, international, university, like it covers every spectrum of the sport. And it's an incredible atmosphere around that environment. A little bit bumpy out there for these women's pairs. You can see the wash just coming over the bows of both of these crews. And I think it's pushing O'Connor and Long around a little bit there on the Berkshire station. You can just see a little bit of a wobble coming there on the right hand side of your picture. And I think it's thrown their steering off. They're now heading towards the middle of the river. But uh, that won't challenge Prendergast and Gowler. They'll be used to challenging conditions. In New Zealand, did you ever race at Carapiro? Yeah, that was I, I raced pretty tricky at the conditions, wasn't 2010 it? World Championships. What a lovely place. It's very windy. Well, we won there, so that's what I cared ah. about, but it was extremely <laughs> windy. Yeah, it was very, very windy, very challenging. And it's uh, one of the only places I've ever gone off the start and then racing got stopped because it was so rough. They stopped us at like 500 meters. Yeah, I remember watching it, it just being like the sea. It, it was the sea. Um, so these guys will be used to a bit of lumpy, bumpy water, not like... No, but I remember being at the start and we had a race plan and me and Zach sat there and looked at him, we're going to change this because these conditions are not what we came out with. Um, and I remember, it, I think it was in the semi or the heat, I went off and I was literally laughing because you, you couldn't actually pull because it was so rough. It was about maintaining and just movement. And that's sometimes in really rough water that people get, I find, people get really wrong. They try to muscle it and you just need to be slick. You've got to move with it. And just be, I think, kind of flexible with it. Luckily, we've been blessed with... Nice pretty water. nice conditions although you will if you're an international crew coming to race here you do have to understand the way that the water moves because it is different it's lumpy it's bumpy there's a stream there's all the the booms, the, the booms. If, if your crew sometimes has a bit of a steering issue you won't get away with it handy you know as you saw earlier today with the gloss crew and they hit the booms the consequences of that are fatal it's very difficult to come back if you hit the booms and actually 
overcome your competitors on the course. So a lovely first look here at the New Zealand women's pair dominating this round of the Hamilton Pairs Challenge Cup. The best pair in the world. I, I like saying that. They are the best female pair in the world. We have them this year racing at Henry Rory Gatter. In an opening round of the Hamilton Challenge Cup. As they beat Connor and Long and progress on to tomorrow's round. Great shot there. Great shot. There. 